right now the hospital um, it's being overburdened now even before COVID times. If you don't have a lot of symptoms, the public health care system wouldn't put you high on the list as well. So normally the wait time is 18 months or even more. If we can move some of the detection or um, screening outside of hospital, it could be in elderly homes, it could be in community centres, then it helps with the burden quite a lot as well. Um, my name is Justin and I'm a CEO and co-founder of Gens Technologies. And we have a portable uh, imaging device for people to look at uh, early screening. So health screening and uh, chronic disease monitoring. We're looking mostly at uh, lungs, liver and kidney. Well, the main, main pain point that we're looking at is the accessibility of um, health screening. Um, so we generally want it to be a lot earlier and a lot more frequent for us to do a lot of uh, testing so that um, earlier detected and earlier treated. What we're looking at is three layers. The first layer is really about uh, whether it's cheap enough for us to do it really frequently. The second one we're looking at is the portability, where we're looking at uh, decentralized healthcare quite a lot. And the third one is about uh, whether we need professional help to operate this machine. How we're designing this is really something you can wear on your own. Over a simple training of like five, 10 minutes, you can not only save some medical cost in um, treatment down the line, it's also help with the well-being a lot more as well. Because uh, quite a lot of chronic diseases are non-reversible. Countries with a wide um, sort of a low, uh, land area, land mass. Um, telemedicine is certainly having a really important aspect of it because simple virtue of um, having driving three hours to go to a specialist or, or doctors with equipment, we can have a lot more regular checkups. It's a very different patient-doctor relationship as well. Talent and the financials would always be one of the greatest aspects that we can we need to look at. So, so for talent, um, we're recruiting globally. We're quite fortunate to be able to work with quite a lot of professors in Hong Kong. And that certainly it helps with uh, quite a lot of the research that we're doing as well. Financially, we're, we're fortunate enough to get quite a lot of grants um, from the public sector and private foundations as a support for us to do this sort of um, healthcare advancement. Hong Kong is a very diverse market. You have um, different segments that you can really easily tap into as well. And at the same time, um, we also get the benefit of a really renowned medical system, both in terms of clinical side and in terms of the academic side. Um, we also have both the global exposure where we, we can easily tap into Southeast Asian and the, sort of the global European US markets. But at the same time, we can benefit a lot on the supply chain in, in this area as well. We do see a lot more interest and a lot more sort of uh, um, new teams being built in family offices and then theses with a specific focus in healthcare side. Um, even before COVID, there's already uptake and it's a bit more accelerated now, now that uh, they're not just looking at biotech, they're looking at medtech. So uh, it's certainly a really good time for us to uh, sort of expand into this area and uh, having more startups to enrich this community as well. Jumpstarter is um, it's, it's a really renowned global competition. Being part of that process, no matter how far we go, it's always a privilege to be a, a journey of. And, and those sort of feedback does help us um, get a lot of perspective in terms of uh, what are different stakeholders uh, on this view. But I think uh, what the pandemic did is um, to highlight the strength of, of startups in general, is the adaptability of how we're doing things. Uh, we certainly see a lot of um, good businesses having to pivot because um, of the certain constraints that the pandemic gives us. Doing startups, I think a lot of us are trying and uh, trial and error, and uh, having that process early certainly gives you advantage. So, when we don't have to house more, starting early would, would be really helpful.